What is going on, everyone? Today, I wanted us to have a chat about something super important in Lost Ark, and that is where to park your alts before Tier 4. For those who may know it in a different term, this video will tell you what item level your alts should be at and how to get the most out of them without burning through all your resources, especially those who are dealing with the nerfed income. Before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe the video so I can keep improving my content for you all. All right, let's get into it. So let's talk about why parking your alts at the right item level is such a big deal. Whether you're rocking multiple classes or just testing the water with new ones, every one of us needs gold. And your alts can either help you make gold or actually make you lose gold both in the short term and long term. There are calculations out there where people have calculated based on the honing costs to a certain item level and the extra gold received from the unlocked raid how many weeks it will take to quote unquote make up your gold. The results are pretty shocking. We are talking about several months for your alts to actually break even. That's a really long time. And multiply that by six characters and you're looking at years worth of making up. I don't even think my berserker or even my slayer that I have dropped completely has made up its gold yet. If you're not careful about where to park your alts, you will end up wasting materials, falling behind, and not being able to play those cool new raids like Behemoth and Aegir and systems like Tier 4 releasing. I don't want that happening to people, especially the new and returning players. So, what is this magic number? Drum rolls, please. It's 1620. Video's over. Thanks for watching and... Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So probably need to explain here. Let me be clear. There are actually two different magic numbers. The first is what I mentioned, 1620. This is for those alts that you really care about. Like, you're running them in raids every single week, putting in the work, upgrading those characters for them, and you actually enjoy the character. So, why 1620? Well, at this item level, your alt can tackle pretty much all the current tier 4 content coming out. We're talking about Behemoth coming out, Aegir coming out, and the new tier 4 shiny brand new gear. Parking your alt at 1620 means you're not only maximizing your gold, but also future proofing them for whatever Smilegate throws at us in the next upcoming months. You'll be ready for new content without having to scramble to catch up. All right, so I mentioned one magic number. Now, what is this second magic number, Mr. Andy, sir? Relax, I was just about to tell you. But before I tell you, do you promise to subscribe if I do say it? Yes? Okay, we had a promise. A deal is a deal. Continuing on, I talked about if you actually enjoyed your alt. Those are 1620. So now it's what if you're not sure about your alt? Maybe it's a class you're still experimenting with or worse, a class that you thought was cool, but turned out to not be your style. But now you're stuck with it because this game doesn't have class reset tickets. So you need to wait three to six business months before the next express pass comes out. For these alts, 1600 is your sweet spot. Yes, 1600. So why 1600? I know it still takes gold to go from 1540 to 1600. I understand. I get it. It's hard. I get it. But we want to reduce the number of nerfed raids as soon as possible. So your list at 1600 would be Kyangel Hard, which is nerfed but still gives 4,800 gold. A Con Hard gives 11,000 gold. And Voldus Normal gives 9,000 gold. 
for a total of 24,800 gold a week for that character. Now, I will say that many people will have different opinions from me, and I want to remind you all that I am just one bozo of many. But I do think the 1620 and 1600 numbers are correct. Some may argue 1580, but then you don't get normal Voldis and even solo mode Voldis, which means you can't get a head start on elixirs. Some may argue 1610, because you unlock the next Chaos Dungeon or and you unlock Thaymine, but that costs 182,620 gold with all bound mats and 396,791 gold with no bound mats. So a happy medium of 1600 is what I think is correct for low prio alts and 1620 for high prio alts. Now the question of how you can afford it, that's a question for another video. All right, so just as a summary for those who just skipped to the end, if you care about your alt for tier four, push to 1620 and park there. There's no reason why you shouldn't. Tier four starts at 1620, Behemoth is at 1620. There's literally no reason not to push for 1620. For alts that you aren't sure about yet, you know, maybe you want to drop the class, maybe you want to see, you know, wait for the next Mokoko Express Pass, Voldis Pass, or we'll probably get something better than a Voldis Pass in our next future. Don't know, but 1600 is the number to park at. This strategy will keep your resources in check, it'll maximize your weekly gains, and it will set you up for future tier 4 shenanigans. Thank you all so much for watching. It truly is so fun making these videos and interacting with you all every day. I always read every single comment. I always try to reply to every comment too. You guys are awesome. I really can't say thank you anymore. If you found the video helpful and you're still here, Hey, join the pineapple gang. How come you haven't subscribed yet? We fellow pineapples always watch to the end and sneak in pineapple in the comment section. So make sure to subscribe first and then as you're commenting, sneak in a pineapple. All right, that was the end of this video. I'll see you all in the next video. And before I end, I always want to kind of show you guys the ending of this video as well. So here we go. We're on to the next, the last burst here. Come on, push it. Push it, Reginald Blue Card. You got this. Woohoo! Let's go, Reginald Blue Card. Pop, pop in the GG there always. Was I a cute DPS? Yes, I was. I am a cute DPS. And there you go, MVP. Didn't get the damage MVP in this one. This Gunslinger was 1650 to my 1620 Arcanist. I did beat him in gate 2 Voltus though. Uh, but then he went in first for the, uh, the, the, the thing, the boss that you go in. So he was able to get extra damage in. I don't care. He could do whatever the heck he wants. I'm just happy to get the clear. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.